Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Concrete Jungle series. It's the morning of day six. Got a few things done last night. Still nighttime, we got eight minutes left, but we got the concrete mixer up and we got some concrete mixing in here, which is nice. The uh, workbench, oh, finished making the pipe bombs. Uh, we made a bunch of um, uh, gunpowder last night, got that done. Made the mixer last night, got that done. And let's put these pipe bombs in here. We're gonna need these for horde night probably. Uh, hopefully we can get some Molotovs. Oh, there's the morning chime. Or some more pipe bombs as quest rewards for the next little bit. If not, we still have, we got enough to make some Molotovs. I mean, we have oil. We've got a bit of oil. We can make like eight Molotovs. So it shouldn't be too bad if we need to make them. I was hoping we would have some. Normally I get them from the trader, but, uh, yeah. So, and I'm actually getting some stuff melted in here. Let's get some more clay in here as well. Uh, i just set this to go for a bit here get that going we're making bullet tips and stuff in here as as we go along okay we got a dog outside here though okay he sounds like he's far enough away a wandering horde ran by here blew up a bunch of mines over there I don't want to mess around with a dog at the moment well where is he over here somewhere did he fall in the hole he did well I ain't going down to get him fine good you stay down there yeah you'd be angry I'd be angry too if I fell in that hole all right let's get over here we got a quest to do today this is a clear now I've been through this place already. I know what this place is about. It's a, a hoarder's home, so it's pretty nasty. Um, it's gonna be, oh. oh. This pistol's not bad, but it doesn't do damage worth a shit. Um, did I hear a zombie? Thought I heard a growl there for a second. Anything good in here? Nothing. All right, let's just move this over. All right, we're gonna go in here, do this place as quick as we can, I think. Um, I don't think I'll loot a lot in here. Let's just eat before we go. I did make a bunch more bacon and eggs last night uh, and some more red tea, so we have a stock of that at home. All right, we're gonna just try and burn through this place, grab the main loot, anything else, else of importance that we can find. Like, there's a bunch of boxes and stuff in here like this that I think are like... I think these are all like uh, working stiff boxes or something. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, we could grab the cobblestone. I think there's another box up here, yep. So there's like three or four of these here. This is a actually really good house to loot if you're looking for supplies early game. I'll leave that on so you guys can see. So this is a clear. Guy's not paying attention again. That's what happens. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Let's just take this. Of course I say that and it's like, I'll probably get killed in here by something because I'm not paying attention. Uh, some wood. All right. Another box over here. Eh. Now, do we? I think I know which way to go, but I want to just check up here real quick. Yeah, we got a sleeper over here. Whoops. Well. Did we kill them? No, they're still alive. They're not doing anything, though. Are they stuck? Yeah, shit. Oh crap, that scared the crap out of me. I thought that was a uh, zombie there for a second. Oh. They're breaking through something over there. That's one of those nasty ones too. That's one of the uh, ones I added to the game. And it's... Uh, 
It's like a big mama zombie, but it's like a really nasty big mama zombie. It's a mama... I don't know how... I can't think of a funny name for it. Oh, shit, there's another one here. That one was easier to kill. Now this breaks out, I think. What are you banging on there now? What if he's trying to beat his way to the roof? That's a nice find. Well, that was probably a bad idea. Well, we've got to kill him sooner or later. Hopefully he'll forget about me and do something else. Let's get down here. Ooh, we've got a couple more boxes over here. They're not going to forget about me, are they? Come on, buddy. Maybe they just, maybe they have. They're not moving. Wow, that's a lot of frames. Come on, bud. Let's go. They going around back? Oh shit! Uh, I lost my. <laughs> uh, they must have found their way back upstairs. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man. Brilliant. Brilliant. Talk about getting caught with your pants down. Holy crap. That was hilarious. They must have. I thought they weren't moving, but I guess they must have went upstairs or something, and then... Whatever. Alright, let's just keep going. Holy crap, that was a good jump scare. Now, backyard. Um, grab all that stuff. I think there's... Um, there might be a dog out here. Past couple times I came through here, there wasn't, but like in my offline play, I came through this building a couple times. There's guys inside here. I've yet to see a dog, though. Yeah, nothing there. Well... What's up, guys? There you go. Keep looking right at me. Presents for everybody. Yeah. Come on. Oh. There you go. There you are. He wanted some, so we gave it to him. Okay, I think what we do is we go through this place, come back and loot later. There's a lot. I mean, there's so much stuff here. Like, he could break all of this down. Now, this is where Big Mama fell through. Oop, bookshelf. For one piece of paper. Okay, that's where we broke through. You heard me. Oh, there's more than one. Come on. Right under your armpit. Ooh, that's gotta hurt, eh? It's gonna leave a mark. Yeah, leave a little bit of a mark anyway. Okay. What's up, lady? I can't get over there to you. You gotta get over here. Come on, I don't feel like walking over there. Where are you going? There you are. Bring it in for a hug. Free hugs. Free hugs for everybody. You know, like for everybody. Okay, what do we got here? 
a little bit of clay any water a little bit of water yeah I don't know ooh pistol schematic I don't know if that's gonna be worth it though that might be worth it I wonder how much I wonder what that would cost okay we've got that already so let's go ahead and use this one this we'll get if we take one point in um, uh, whatever it is gunnery or whatever uh, which I plan on doing eventually because I want to use an SMG so but we're not gonna make a pistol and we can only make a level one anyway if we take it right now so there's no point in taking it alrighty oh hazmat guys what were you guys doing in here besides trying to clean this place up Come on, you guys. Man, fighting in a hoarder's house. Not easy at all. Not easy at all. Oh, that was an exchange of blows. You got a piece of me there. Okay, I'm assuming this room is clear. Let's break this box open. Find out what we've got here. I should be just breaking everything down for plastic. Okay, six steel. Now, we're heading towards the motorcycle. We're going to need... 30 steel, I think, when we get to the motorcycle to make it. Oh, here we go. Come down here. Let's fight. Oh, you don't come all the way down. That's not very nice. There you go. Get all the way down here. Hazmat zombies look great. I like the fact that they got like that little tank on the back and everything. And Okay, I guess we're going this way. Oh, I guess that's where we killed the one guy. Now, we have lockpicks. We got seven. Let's see if we can get into this safe. So what I'm going to do, once we finish this, it's still eight in the morning. There's like, it looks like there's only one area with zombies left. I think we actually have to kind of go back out to the garage, up under the roof where we were before, and then in that window. And then I think it's the final loot room. So what we'll do is I'll loot this. We'll go do the final loot room. And then I'm probably going to strip this place of everything. Ooh, great heist. 10% more jewelry when looting. And a better bow. Now I put the, um, modify this. I put the cripple mod on the bow. Just because it increases the damage. And if we get a, a tougher zombie. Oh, I didn't want to repair that one. I wanted to scrap it. I want to repair this one. Um, if we get a tougher zombie, then, um... Can always shoot it in the leg with an arrow. Hopefully, maybe pull the leg completely off. But we'll see. I don't know. It's but it adds a little damage by itself, so it's you know kind of good to have on there. Uh, overalls are they better than what we have? Marginally better. You know what? Let's just scrap it. Got yellow dye though. I outfitted my dude here. Let's just go ahead and scrap these. I think we can drop the bone. Um, yeah, I've got, I've been trying to like, put dye on everything. I really got to get rid of the red. It's kind of like, it's not my, not my color. Not my color. But it is Christmas time, so let's leave it on for now. I think this block, yeah, it's a damage block. So let's just put it with a, put a frame in there. There's three of them. Ha ha ha, I tricked you. That guy's almost done. Bring him back. Come on, I gave you a way back. Which guy are you? Nope. Ha ha ha. Oh, that, that guy's done. Sorry, stamina like We're doing well. Come on. Is it just you? Oop, that's it. We got the area cleared. Excellent. See, that wasn't too bad. Fighting in a hoarder's house is not fun, but you can do it. It's not that, not, well, I don't want to say it's not that difficult, but as long as you're careful, it should be fine. All right, let's open these boxes up. We'll take a look what's inside. 
Then I'm going to go through, like I said, strip the house down, put a bunch of stuff in the bike that we can sell. Um, I'll only keep what we really need. Uh, and the rest of the stuff will just pitch. Or maybe I'll just stack it out front somewhere and get it on the way back. Scrap that. We'll take that. Um, let's just put that in the shovel for now. So that wasn't too bad. Ammo pile. Alright, a little bit more. That's just regular trash. And some stuffs. Okay, let's repair you. So that'll sell. Go ahead and scrap this. Let's use this. Not that we need to. Uh, we don't need the paper. So I have to be really discerning here what we want to keep. We definitely want to keep the lead for bullets. Plastic's going to sell. Alright, I'm going to go through uh, this whole place. Strip down everything that I want to keep. Um, like I guess I should have looked in the trash first before breaking it. Um, yeah, we're going to strip down everything we want to keep. Um, pitch the rest of the stuff. And then um, I'll meet you downstairs at the bike. Alright, and this looks like it. Coffee maker is the last one. So, that is a lot of stuff in here. I mean, I didn't go through all of it, but I went through most of it. I kept most of the good stuff. Uh, trashed the rest of it. Broke down the two um, uh, vending machines in the back. Plus, I found nine steel in another box. So, I got 20 steel out of that, which is pretty freaking nice. It's a good... Uh, chunk on our way to the motorbike. We just need 30. So, ooh, we'll grab that. I don't need the hops. Well, let's grab it. Yeah, we can't carry it, so that's not important. That's important, and so is the sand currently, so let's just go ahead and drop the paper, which we don't need right now. Grab all this, and let's head to the trader. Alright, well, let's see what Hughes got for us today. Hopefully it's something good. Now, he doesn't restock till tomorrow, so I think there's not really much we want off this guy. Oh, I'll do business. Will you do business with me? Level 2 pistol. But you did, so here you go. Uh, I don't have room for it, so let's uh, sell some stuff first. We um, can sell you and all of this. We got 93 plastic out of there, 297. It's kind of worth it. Uh, I can sell that. We can sell that. The boots can go, the paintbrush can go. Paintbrush is worth 40, that's why I always grab them and keep them. We want the military armor part, the money, obviously we need to keep to buy our way out of here. Uh, so we'll keep that. I think that's it. Are we? we are. I lost the bet on this one. Did you lose There's a bet on that money. one? Alright, we'll take this. Because level 2 pistol. And do you have any jobs? Uh, fetch to the southeast. That's just super close dig. by. Let's, just let's go do that real quick. Uh, let's see here. So let's modify you. Just because it's in better repair. Um, modify, drop you in there. Complete. Alright, so let's go knock this fetch off real quick. Then there's a second fetch we can take. Drop in the single items that we want to take home with us. The steel can go in there, the money, this can go in there. Uh, probably the forged iron. Shotgun, well, we're out of space. Oh, right, because we stopped, yeah, we dropped stuff in from before. So we're not doing too bad. We'll go here first, pull this off real fast, because it's like right here. Ah, yes, this place. This should go quick, I think. I think this garage is attached to it, is it not? Oh, we gotta go in the basement. Um, this is just a smash and grab, so it's upstairs. Now, question is, is it on the main floor? No, it's up in the second floor. Uh, let's just check this garage out real quick. Oh, hey you. That was a nice bounce. One more for good luck. There you go. Let's just grab the stuff out of here real quick. Then we're just gonna, I think we're just pull up there. Like I said, I wanna try and knock off as many of this, these jobs as I can today. Now I think the tier two quest results um, vary. I thought for sure that you got a um, a box with a mini with mini bike parts in it, but that's apparently not a, a common thing. It's possible. 
steel parts, steel tool parts. It's possible to get it, but it's not guaranteed. You could get a wide variety of other stuff, like a workbench or things like that too, right? So if you weren't, I guess, planning on going into intellect, um, you could easily just go ahead and, and um, hold out and hopefully get a workbench on the second tier of the uh, jobs. Okay, grab this. Now, um, what's the best way up? I guess maybe this window, one of the two windows. Let's go in. Where can we go in here? Right there, I guess. All right, let's go up. Okay, one more. Well, hello. So whether the pistol kills or not on a single shot when you're stealth, I think also po like possibly is... Um, like we may have gotten a zombie that was like 20% more hit points. Because hit points now apparently vary. Plus or minus 20%. Uh, these are the same, right? Block damage 5-5, five, five, power attack 24-7, 24-9, it's marginally better. And we'll just scrap this guy. Don't feel like carrying it with me. Uh, you know what, we don't need the paper, let's leave that out. And we can leave this out. Oh, hey you! Wait for our stamina, there we go. Oh yeah, this place. Now, where is... It should just be in this room then. I think there's somebody behind here though. Yep. Little obvious. Oh, you're a feral. You were a feral. <laughs> Let's hope we don't find another feral in here. Don't look like a trap, does it? Oh, nothing there. Okay. Got some boots. We'll sell those for like six coin or whatever the hell it is. Grab that. That's a little bit of plastic. Now, where is the... Painting. Durr. There we go. Let's get the hell out of here now. Actually, after we check these books, that is... Okay, we can sell that, and uh, we can sell that. Alright, let's go back to the trader, get that next quest, and then we'll stop home, drop all this gack off, and then go get the, uh, go get that next quest done. Ah, oh, shit, this thing reset the tree. Damn it. Yeah, well, I need the wood anyway. Excellent. I think we could... I, I mean, I, I know our goal was kind of to try and push and see if we could get the, the Tier 3s done, or the Tier 2s done be, before the next horde. Gonna perch your yeah, yeah, I'm gonna perch... Oh, shotgun choke mod, we'll take that. You want something in return. Uh, you guys see your inventory? Here you go. Let's sell you some stuff. You can go, you can go, you can go as much as I wanted to die out of that. We got shit to do, so let's just get doing it. Get rid of that. There's nothing else. You best oh, we be got some way. stuff. Um, clear. Now nah, we don't have time for the clear today. Ooh, fetch in the cemetery. All right. Okay, let's stop home. Drop all this stuff off. Quickly perform this fetch in the cemetery. Yeah, so this is the one with the basement. Which is kind of good. I mean, it's got more loot here. So let's peel through the outside. We'll loot secondary. Ooh, lag, lag, lag. The loot's down below. Now, I think they've also um, changed the loot on the uh, gravestones, too. Oh. He just looked at me in shock, like, 
Did you just hit me in the head? Uh, but yeah, I think some of these, the graves have been changed. Um, I don't think they supply the same quality of loot that they did before. Um, and I think too that, um, come on you guys, let's go. Let's get this shit over with. Oh, where did you come from? You were hanging out in the yard somewhere. Knock your ass out first. Yeah, so... Where is he going? I guess he had enough. He hit me once. He's like, I, I'm, I'm done for today. Yeah, I'm finding that some of their... Like, their AI is sometimes a little off, too. It's, like, not uh, tracking like it should. And that could also be the, uh, the new zombies. Because this is one of the newer zombies that I added. But yeah, as I was saying about the graves, like you dig down and sometimes like, sometimes there is one there, sometimes there isn't. But I'm not really finding the same quality of loot that I was finding before. And I think right here, this is the one that's got the, uh, the, uh, uh, what's, what's it called? Weapons chest. Yeah, there it is. Ah, not bad, I guess. Could be worse. You can have that though. All right, let's get down here. We just gotta find that thing and get the hell out of here. Actually, we should probably, we got the time. We'll do this whole place. Oh, it's upstairs now. Wait, did I just completely miss that? Where is that? Wait, is it in a, is it in a grave? Wouldn't that be weird? It is. Well, what do you know? First time I've ever found a cereal, a uh, satchel there. Well, shit, we don't even need to do this place now. We can find a different place to raid. I mean, what's in the basement of here? There's a... There's a locked safe. Two boxes. Um, five hours. Yeah, we've already started this place. Let's just go back in. Ooh. There's five. How many was in the other bird's nest? Maybe we can get enough to make the arrows here. Three. Well, we can make some of these arrows. Good enough. Alright, let's get down here. Knock this place out real quick. Should just be able to, like... Stealth kill everybody here. I've heard people say the bow is o OP now. I don't really find that it is. It's always been OP. That's not bad. Um, it's always been OP in my mind. Um, I've always said, like, even when like I watch you YouTubers play, I'm like, why aren't you stealthing and using the bow? You're just making things hard on yourself. Stealth and use the bow. I know it may not be your play style, but if you're complaining about how hard things and how hard things are, stealth and use the bow makes things easy. It's always been over, like overpowered, but also in my mind, like it's like I don't know, like a a bullet should be just the same, like like a nine mil or a seven six two round should just be the same, regardless of what it's fired from. Um, but it's weird that the pistol can't do the same damage as this, you know, in early game. You'd think once you got a pistol, you'd want to get like completely away from using the bow, but there really isn't until mid-game, right? Because by that time, you've either got a good rifle that's silenced or whatever that just can easily handle zombies like this. And then you don't need it. Yeah, they changed this too, because normally when you get right here, all these zombies wake up.
Ooh, lot, there's like four of them down here. Sometimes there's a second one over here. Not today. All right. Well, that's actually pretty good. We'll take all that. Good thing I made some extra arrows today. All right. Let's just loot this place. That's nice. We got to crack a book. Um, leather dusters. I'm going to use it because we want to kind of complete the book chain there. Uh, that we can sell. We can just repair this. Take that. And then that, if we don't find another shotgun, that will be good for Horde Knight. Put the shotgun choke on it, maybe the barrel extender. And we'll take those. More oil. Beautiful. Uh, we can repair that right away. Okay, so not bad. Let's actually try to find some iron on the way out of here so we can fully repair those boots. Oh, hey, dude. What's up, yo? I saw your brother inside. He's not looking so good. Neither are you. Ooh, another bar tea, but I don't feel like... Uh, that's the place that we're living in. I don't feel like taking on radiators at the moment. Although I guess we could always just look in the window. Let's go look in the window here. Because I know there's a weapon bag, right? There could be a dog here too, though. Let's be careful. Uh, grab this stuff. Yeah, we could scrap this. Actually, let's grab all this plastic for the uh, dollars. Let's go see if we got a dog. We do. Um... I think that's worth the headshot there. Yep, it is. Surprise, motherfucker. All right, let's take this stone because we are woefully low on stone now. After I made that concrete, I would like a, I forgot it takes equal amounts of stone, so I lost a whole bunch of stone. Excellent. Ah, uh, scrap, not take. Oh, that guy's still going over there. He's probably going to hit another one of those mines. Looks like he's drunk. Maybe he is. Or maybe he's dead. One of the two. Now oh, he heard me, I think. No, nope, maybe he didn't. Thought I heard him running. Ah, uh, he... <laughs> you know what happened? He died on the spikes, and as he was falling over, he landed on a landmine. That, that crawler, see him up there? He's still trying to get to me. He's just pissed that I ran him over. I don't blame him. Don't blame him one bit. All right, we're going to take a peek in the window here. Okay. Let's scrap these. Let's repair you. No, it's a normal guy. Doesn't mean the second zombie's not a radiated one. Making sure they're not behind the couch. Had that happen before. That might just be the one. Looks like it's just the one. Alright, let's break in here. That guy's pissed. Man, I'm getting a little laggy here. I think it's the sun. Sun going down. Oh, spike. All right, spikes for the bat. I think we're going to keep the um, the mod on we have right now, which is the... Uh, oh, that's not bad either. Which is the um, stamina reducing mod. Yeah, kilo. Oh, shit. He's already here. Hey, you little... Turd Blossom. <laughs> That's what I get for running him over, I guess. Uh, let's scrap that. Ah, uh, he just punished me. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want this stuff. I don't know why I'm spending my time doing this. Let's just check what else is here, though. Another cooking pot, which we can't pick up. Uh... Grab the can. 
Drop those, pick this up, and we can scrap this. Grab my blueberries back. Ooh, coffee, let's just go ahead and use that. And what's in the sink? And then we're out of here. All right, not bad. Wait, is there a bookshelf? Yep. Three paper. Well, I guess that was kind of worth stopping. We did get that spike mod, so if we get a better bat, we can at least add the spike mod to it. I like the spike mod over the other stuff because it... Um, oh shit, we gotta better hurry up. Uh, because it reduces the target armor with each hit. It doesn't reduce it by much, but at least, you know, the next hit you're going to be doing a little more damage if it's an armored target. Alright, let's go see what Hugh's got for us. Alright, Hugh Jackman, give me something good, baby. I looking certainly could use it. I am looking for something special, Hugh. Apparently you don't have it. Here's Take the armor body. plate. Uh, can I see your inventory? I do have a couple things I want to sell you. Um, we can sell them that. We can sell them that. Sell them that. That can go. I don't know why I'm carrying two of those. Uh, that can go. That can go. All this can go. Another 176 coin right there. And I think that's it. No, I'm not bad at all. Actually, you know what? We're out of here. He restocks tomorrow. We'll come back tomorrow. So, I didn't take a job from him because I think tomorrow morning, uh, what we're definitely going to be doing is looking for a place to hold down the horde so that when we do uh, have the end of the day tomorrow, it'll just be set up and all we have to do is climb up on top. I think we're going to do it like right here at this place. So we're going to go there tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I know what I want to do with it. Um, I've walked by it in a, a couple of my other playthroughs, so I kind of have an idea what it's like. I think there's like a hole in the wall, so all you have to do is fill it in, and then, um, stand up on top, drop shit down on the zombies tomorrow. But I'm going to have to make Molotovs, because we didn't get any. So we're going to make some Molotovs tonight. Uh, let's see here. Grab you, and you, and you. We got 14 oil, so let's see how many Molotovs we can make here. Six. What are we missing? Cloth fragments. Which we got lots of. Ah! I'm drunk. Getting a little lag there. Ah, we can make 12. So 12 Molotovs, 11 pipe bombs. I think that's probably enough. Plus we got enough guns and ammo. Like, we'll use this uh, shotgun. Um, we've got our machine gun, the pistol, the bow. We got plenty of stuff to, to handle the horde with. This is I'm actually kind of shocked because this is the first time I haven't got pipe bombs or molotovs as quest reward, rewards from the trader. But then again, this is the first time I started with Hugh as my first trader, so um, I don't know whether it's Hugh specific that he doesn't give out that stuff. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.